So today, um, it's just gonna be a chill video. Um, this is a nice little story time video, nothing too special. But I'm not sure if I should change my upload schedule because like I uploaded this video and this fun, or the last one, sorry, on Tuesday and it fucking blew up. Almost hitting 500, 500 views and it blew up for me. By the way, my channel's going fucking fast. Like, I'm surprised, we just had like 170 last week and now we're at like almost 220. That's good. Um, so, thanks for that. But, um, yeah, so, the story time video today is going to be about something a little scary. And that is exes. Like, I figured this, this would be an interesting story to talk about. Yeah. You play Apex? Have you won yet? I, I have never won a single game in Fortnite, and I've played over, like, four or five hundred games. I've never won a single one. I think I'm good. But Apex... Probably playing for a good six days, six games. No, like on probably my 20th game I won. Then I won, an, I, I lost the next one. Then I won the one after that. So it's pretty fucking dope yeah, last night. So if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give me a like. That does help, and I'd like to see your feedback. If you didn't like it, dislike it. That's okay by me. All feedback is fine by me. Oh, and by the way, like I like wearing a new sweater every video. So I hope this isn't too douchey. Because like I, I hate showing off. I never show off any like fancy clothes. I've worn it to school once, and I just I hate wearing douchey shit. But it's bright and you know. Okay guys, so story time. So there was this girl I dated a little while back. Um, she was tight. She was good. Um, no, she wasn't good. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. She was not good. So basically, what happened? Um, we dated for a total of three months. I asked her out. All right. We talked for about a month. So that was kind of a bad idea to ask her out so soon. And after that, it kind of all went downhill. Yeah, no, no really any red flags yet. <laughs> yet. I uh, went to the beach with her friend and her. It was fun. Um, me and her friend kind of clicked. I'll be honest, I clicked with her friend pretty good. I'm sure she felt the same. Not like saying like I wanted her friend or anything like that, you know. Anyway, um, me and her friend were pretty good. And like that's, that's, that's important, remember that. So, no. Went to the beach first. Then I asked her out. I think that's how it went. So I asked her out. A um, month in is when we started. Well, the month in is when we started having problems. So we broke up on the month, and the reason why we broke this should have been a big fucking red flag. But the reason we broke up was because like she didn't really put any fucking effort to anything. Like nigga, like for real, we would talk, right? Whenever call me cute, which I don't give a fuck. You don't call me cute. When I'm calling you shit, you know, can I goes both? And you're in a fucking relationship, dude. Like what the fuck you want? Like she didn't really um, put any effort into anything. So it was kind of like seeping on me, and I was like, what the fuck? You know, this is kind of boring. Like this kind of seems pointless at this point. Um, yeah, so one of her friends was like, you know what, like if it's not working out, then yeah, like from what you're telling me, you should just end it. I ended it. Got back like two days later, I was like, yeah, I'm fucking stupid, I'm sorry. So we got back, bad idea, bad fucking idea, red alert, shouldn't have fucking done that, sound the fucking horn. That was a big no-no. Because, oh, because a lot of stuff happened after that. Woohoo! She went to this party. Um, she was like a big party girl. Not big, but like she liked it. And then she told me how much she didn't really like going to parties. I don't know. Um, she also had a big thing about like saying how nice of a girl she was. And like when someone tells you how nice they are, they aren't fucking nice. It's like uh, such a big deal explaining how nice they are. Um, they aren't nice. So basically, um, probably a month and a half in, she went to the party. It was cool. It was cool. It was like, it was like a homecoming party and shit. By the way, the girl knows that I'm talking about it now. She has to know. The girl, the friend, one of their friends have to know that I'm talking about it. So I'm sorry. <laughs> but I gotta be honest because this is this is a good story. Um, <laughs> um, but basically, that shit happened. A month and a half in. Goes to this party. She gets really high and drinks and gets drunk. Um, I was kind of against like, her getting high and drunk at the same time because, you know, that you just get fucked and you shouldn't do that. This is where it kind of fucking went down now. So she like told me she promised that she wouldn't do that. All right, I wasn't angry at her for like, I didn't tell her to, I was like, I wasn't like do this or else I'm gonna fucking be angry. I was just like, you know what? Like, I don't think you should do that. But like, you can do it if you want. She's like, I promise I won't, I promise you have my word. Didn't fucking listen. She gets high, super high, super drunk. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so I talked to her in the morning, yo, what's up? Like, what the fuck happened last night? <laughs> then, oh, my nigga, ooh, <laughs> shit. She told me, originally told me that she had no idea what happened that night. So basically what happened, and from her words, this is what she said. So, the night of, she didn't really remember anything in the morning. Didn't, didn't remember. Um, near, like, the end of the night, she was telling me how she remembered all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> this is what she said. So she was in an outhouse with a guy. This is her. This is what she said. She said she remembered being in an outhouse with a dude. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. Fuck, right? <laughs> was in an outhouse with a guy. 
And then the last thing she remembered was like him saying no. So I was like, oh, did he fuck, like he, like, you know, like rape, right? But a day later, like I asked her, I was like, you know what? Like, did you touch him at all? Did you touch him back? She, she wouldn't really give me a straight answer. And she, she told me that like she forgot about it and like not to worry about the dude because he was a dork. Like, what? Like, bitch, shut the fuck up, okay? I would never tell a girl shut the fuck up and actually mean it. Just so you know, it's just a joke. Seriously, like what the hell, man? Like you're gonna tell me don't? She's like, don't worry about it. It's just him. Yeah, she said she said she couldn't like remember if he touched her or not. So so like she told me, she could not remember if she touched him back. She told me yeah, no, she said, fuck, no, no, she didn't tell me that. <laughs> she told me no, but then she told me she didn't really know. She wasn't sure, and then she told me no, and then she told me she wasn't sure. Then she said she didn't really want to talk about it at all. So. A little shady, a little shady. I was like, all right, whatever, I'll brush it off, you know. Goes to another party. Now, this is the problem I had. So, she bought this, like, sexy dress or sexy bodysuit. It was tight. Now, she wanted to post a picture of her in the bodysuit, right? She wanted to post a picture of her in the bodysuit. And I'm not a controlling dude, okay? I don't care. And the reason why I was surprising is because she never sent me a damn thing in my life. <laughs> like, the whole time, she never sent me one, never teased up to until I, like, I think I... I asked after that, um, and her reasoning for never ever wanting to send me a picture was because, this is while we were dating, for almost three months by the way, um, so that happened and I asked her and she, the reason why she didn't want to send me a picture was because, in her words, I don't feel comfortable sending it to one guy, instead I have to show everyone else. <laughs> I, 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 I was speechless, I didn't know what to say, I was like shit. What the fuck? <laughs> he actually just said that. I think this was afterward, or before. Um, we went to like Fort Francis in Ontario and had a football game there, so. And like, there was this, and like, we're, I was almost there and she was like, just being rude, man. She was just like, oh, I hope you fucking lose the game and shit. And like, I was like, you serious? She's like, yeah, I actually am. I was like, ah, oh, fuck, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. This is like the last few games. I fucking hated this year. It was, oh, she put so much fucking stress on me. Oh, fuck, man, I hated it. I hated her. I t so I have a best friend that lives in British Columbia. So Jamie and me always talk on the daily. So Jamie was a bit upset that I, I stopped talking to her. I stopped talking to her because then I told her that, I told my ex that, and my ex was like fucking freaking out basically. And she was like, you know what, fine. We, this is why I'm going to the game. It was five hour drive. Um, so that happened and she was like, and I told my, I told my ex that like, you know, like Jamie's a bit upset about that. And her, her solution to this was to like, not want to FaceTime me anymore. She'd be like, you know what, I'll just never FaceTime you again. And like, yo, it wasn't an anger thing. She literally meant it. She, for like two days, she wouldn't f f talk to me. She meant this shit. She wasn't joking around. I had to think about it. Like, I knew she wouldn't care, so I knew she would actually do it. I was like, what the hell? Like, don't fucking do that. She's like, what, like, what is wrong with you? Why are you acting like that? Anyway, that happened, and then she kind of like ruined everything. And went, uh, up, up and and I, the shitty thing is that I told my ex, I was like, you know what, me and Jamie aren't friends anymore. Just so she would stop that, even though me and Jamie were still friends. So, when I when I, I did that, and then Jamie was telling me how fucking shitty I was for saying that, I was like, you know what, you're fucking right. Like, what the fuck am I doing with this girl? So, I was like, you know what, I, I just don't want to fucking be with you anymore. I fucking broke up with her like a day on the day of, or the day of, oh, oh yeah, so my birthday came. This is like, we broke up a day after my birthday. She was like, um, fuck you, I wish I cheated on you. Literally, <laughs> she's like, I wish I cheated on you instead with that guy that always helped me at the party and the guy that helped her at the party was the guy in the outhouse. She always like, he always like helped her. I, I'm not gonna lie, I've seen that insult card in my little way. But like, she's like, oh yeah, I should've fucking cheated on you with him. And I was like, damn, like this, this girl's really fucking twisted. And I was like, alright, well fuck you. And uh, goodbye. Anyway, yeah, so that's my story. Um, I'm kind of glad that finished. Hopefully you fucking enjoyed it. If you want to follow me, um, like I said, if you really want to follow me and see what I'm about, I'll sub to the channel, stick with me, uh, we can grow. We're gonna hit like 300 in weeks, I see it, in a week and a half at least. At the most, sorry, a week. 